Hi everyone, welcome to Straight From The Divine Tarot. I'm gonna do a collective read. We are Saturday, May 14th, 2022, although it is timeless it's for whenever you feel drawn towards this video. Uh, quickly, I'm gonna go through the spiel. Uh, I don't use signs and I don't use um, gender because we embody those energies throughout our lifetimes depending on the situation, whether those signs are in our charts or not. Um, as an example, you could be an earth sign wanting to speak your, your, your truth and set boundaries with people. So the, the card representing you instead of an earth sign card would be the Queen of Swords in the upright. Male or female, it doesn't matter. It's just some um, energy because that's what the Queen of Swords represents. Um, so I don't want you to miss your message or be confused. Um, so I'm trying to streamline it. Uh, if I use the he, she pronoun, it's only because it's on the cards and it helps to keep it straight in my head. So please take what applies, toss the rest. Don't try to make it fit. It is a general read. It's not always going to be for you. So you're going to have to use your higher wisdom and discernment. Okay, so we're ready to go, gang. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of white light, what are your messages for the collective for Saturday, May 14th, 2022? What would you like them to know, please? Thank you. Lady of the Mirror, Reflection, Non-Judgment, card number 44. That's a good number, 44. So 4 and 4 is 8 in tarot, so that's the strength in the upright. Having integrity, loyalty, and honesty, strength and courage, willpower. Um, having power and control over a situation, maybe. You know, we'll see where that goes. We'll clarify it with one of these. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of white light. Please clarify the lady of the mirror for the collective, please. Saturday, May 14th, 2022, please. Clarify the lady of the mirror, please. Was, okay, thank you. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Well, I hope that's it's not stalking and gaslighting. It could be any of these things. It could be just, you know, it could be a couple. It could be one thing. So we'll see where this goes. All right. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of our light. What are your messages for the collective for Saturday, May 14th, 2022? What would you like the collective to know, please? I've already pre-shuffled, by the way. Okay. There you should go. Come on, spirit. What are the messages for the like collective to know? Saturday, May 14th, 2022. Well, something to do with a relationship, um, a home, a business, some sort of stability here, a foundation. It could be a, a, a get-together, right? Four wants is also a get-together. So we'll see where this goes. Are we ready to cut the card, Spirit? One more? Okay, thank you. One more. Oops. Here we go. Come on. Sorry, I have to apologize in, in advance because we are Mercury retrograde. So I, I, I have been tripping over my words. So I apologize in advance. Saying weird things coming out of my mouth. Uh, the other thing I want to apologize for is I've got a bit of a head cold starting, I believe. I thought it was allergies yesterday, but it hasn't uh, let up. So unfortunately, I think it's a head cold. So I apologize. You said one more spirit. Are we ready? Okay. Here we go, gang. Okay. Uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um, something's not working out here. It's the end of the road. It's it's not going to go anywhere else. You know, it's a dead end. It's time to move on. This is a card of you get what you give. So if you gave nothing, you're going to get nothing out of a situation. Somebody did invest where they should have possibly. Maybe they invested elsewhere. And it could also indicate that it's a, as a card of uh, relocation, having to relocate. Right? It could be the end of a third party situation. It doesn't have to be. A collaboration, the end of a collaboration, the end of a contract. Uh, if you have to relocate, maybe it is an end of a, a lease or a mortgage. Um, somebody didn't put the work in, possibly they were lazy and or disrespectful. I'm just giving you the descriptions for the new subs here. Um, I, I do bring it together, by the way, because everybody's stories are different, you know, slightly different. We're on the same kind of trajectory, um, storylines type of thing, but we're all in different times. Of course, there's going to be differences. It's not always going to be the same. So take what applies, toss the rest, okay? Ten of Wands in reverse. Somebody's putting some burdens down. They're being crushed underneath the weight of these burdens. These burdens do not belong, all, all belong to them, by the way. They've taken on other people's burdens. It's going nowhere. 
okay? They have to put these things down. They're stressed. Um, they've got a lot on their backs here, a lot on their shoulders. And they're falling here. Yeah, Knight of Wands, so holding back. Could be a confrontation here. This is a very conf confrontational energy, if, you, if we're talking energy, if it's not just holding back. This is somebody that's in your face, confrontational and, and um, argumentative, right? Big ego, arrogant. They're a taker and a poser. They take, uh, they take credit for other people's work, accomplishments, and ideas. Uh, they always want to be in the limelight. Me, 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 me kind of uh, energy, right? So why is the Ten of Wands in reverse here for the collective spirit? Somebody's really, really suffering here. Struggling under the weight of the, these burdens here. Ten of Wands in reverse. Maybe they bit off more than they can chew, right? Rent or mortgage is too much to pay. They have to put these burdens down. Maybe they're paying for other people. Who knows? We'll see. Ten, ten of Wands in reverse. Why is this here, please? Ten of Wands in reverse spirit. Okay. It's like pulling teeth right now. Ten of Wands in reverse. Why is this here? Thank you, spirit. Okay. So we have the sun card. There's clarity, there's truth. Um, maybe these stresses are getting to them physically. They need, there's clarity, they need, they need healing. Uh, they need truth, they need clarity, They're, or they've got the truth and clarity about a situation. Um, you'll see where this goes. It can go many different ways, obviously, at first, but we will bring it together, like I said. Having to take action, they're realizing they have to take some sort of action here, Ace of Wands in the upright. Or maybe they want a new, a new beginning, um, carefree right they want to be free of these this is also a card of freedom they want a new beginning a new passionate beginning possibly to be taking action growth um we'll see where it goes like i said that was bottom of the deck sorry why is the sun in the upright please for the collective why is the sun in the upright the sun in the upright why is this here please thank you spirit fool Wanting a new beginning, uh, feeling like a fool, taking a leap of faith. Somebody's, I think it's feeling like a fool here. Yeah, somebody took some risks maybe they shouldn't have taken, but uh, maybe it's a foolish idea to take a, a leap of faith right now. I don't know. We'll see. Trying to get some clarity upon a situation so they can take a leap of faith. Bottom of the deck, king of wands in reverse. So somebody was arrogant, conceited, very, very... Um, egotistical bit off more than they can chew right they're they're in hot water right now <clears throat> this is somebody that is not fit for the job whether if it's business if it's whatever it is in life okay they they bit off more than they can chew it was all arrogance right i sure sure i could do i can handle this i can handle this turned out they can't or they won't <clears throat> and take it as it applies right Sorry, I just had to get a sip of my coffee. Okay, we have the fool in the upright spirit. Why is this fool here, please? Let's bring this together, please. Uh, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light, so I know where we're going. Yeah, something's permanently, permanently over. Death in the reverse. Um, can meet a real death, but I mean, I don't think so in this this connection uh, in this uh, reading here. This is a permanent ending, profound ending that really really changes the person's life. Okay, leaves a mark on them, right? Whether it's a relationship, it's a financial instability, a job, it doesn't really matter. Whatever this is, it's changing somebody's life, right? There's been some head games here, five of wands in reverse, some game playing, co uh, competition and jockeying for position, right? But whoever was dealing with this, whether it's you or somebody you know, picked and chose their battles wisely. It chose not to engage and they they walked away. They they took the high road. They walked away. I guess they realized what was going on here, right? Why is the death card in the reverse place? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white life for the collective. Death in reverse. Why is this here, please? Thank you. We have two. First one out was, yeah, somebody's moving forward. They're moving on. Taking control of the situation, right? There's awareness now. They're taking ownership and there's radical acceptance. They're leaving the baggage behind. This is a victory card. This is also a card indicating that the it's universally driven. Yes, this person is in, in the driver's seat, but if you notice, there's no reins. So this is the universe bringing this about. Okay. 
is awareness. Yeah. You're moving forward. It's a forward, and it's a fast movement too, right? Could be the ending of a relationship for once in reverse. Um, ending of a moving home, right? Losing their home, moving home, move, uh, ending a, a business uh, proposition, right? It's the end of the party. Uh, but it could also mean losing stability, right? Having to move. I'm sorry if you're going through that. I've been through it before. It's not fun. I know. I know. My heart goes out to you. The truth is here. There's clarity. They want victory. This is all aces are a gift from the divine, by the way. Whether it's during a hard time or not, it might not look like it's, it's a blessing, but trust me, it's a blessing in disguise. It's going to allow you to start over again. This is new beginnings, by the way. It's also truth, clarity. It's, 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 it's victory and success. It's a breakthrough, right? And it's brought to you by the divine. You see the dove behind the sword here, right? A bon droit. That means this is your right. This is your, your, your birthright. Uh, you know, this is your rights. Maybe you're, you're finding out what your rights are. Let's see. Four of Wands in reverse. Why is this here, please? Four of Wands in the reverse for the collective. Why is this here, please? We have the chariot in the upright. Four of Wands in reverse. Moving forward, either from a relationship or, yeah. We got three now that just flipped right over. There's a crossroads. Somebody had to make, had to make a decision. Okay, they had to pick their, the path they're, they're going to take. They could be at a distance. They don't need to be. If there is distance, it's only, it could be, you know, like physical distance or it could be a, a distance between people. But they're picking a pack, uh, path, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they're not taking much with them. If, if you can see the satchel on, that's on the stick here and around their waist. <coughs> so sorry. Yeah, they're picking a path. I think both paths will eventually take them where they need to be, where the sunshine is, right? In between the, 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 the mountains, because mountains suggest struggles, but one might take a little, uh, you know, a little detour. Eventually, you are always where you need to be, okay? <coughs> it doesn't matter what choice you make. Eventually, you'll get to where you need to be. This is uh, somebody standing on their, standing their ground, seven of wands in the upright. You know, it could be going up against six other people, or it doesn't have to be six, but other people. Generally indicates, because this person is slightly elevated, this person has an advantage. They're standing their ground, they're defending, they're protecting. Could be, could have been a fight, right? Which one's least resistance, maybe? Because <laughs> that could be resistance. The path of least resistance. <coughs> so sorry. This is going right in my face. I shouldn't have lit that, maybe. The Hierophant reverse. Non-committal, maybe. It could be a divorce, a breakup. Got some bad advice. Didn't listen to advice. It could be somebody that um, thought they were above the law and or have a God complex, right? So maybe that... You know, they had made a decision, stand up for themselves, fight for themselves or somebody else. It could be an ending of a relationship, a divorce. Yeah, bad news. Page of Wands in reverse, bottom of the deck. Somebody lied, uh, spread rumor, gossip, and or slander. Uh, started a lot of unnecessary drama, okay? This is a, an energy that does that. They, they're, they feel entitled, right? They're bored with life. They like to stir up. Stir the pot, right? Lick, and they have other people lick the spoon. What can I say? They throw rocks in my hands. So somebody lied. Not good. Still don't know who's whom here. Uh, <laughs> and it is Mercury, so it retrograded. And it, the readings have been like this lately. Temperance in reverse. There's possibly uh, addictions involved. Um, doesn't have to be, okay? I'm, I'm just giving you the descriptions because everybody's story is different. Could be inappropriate behavior, going to extremes. There's no healing, no compromising, no contentment, um, no balance. Right? Something was really off balance here. It didn't. It, it wasn't fair. Out of patience, not waiting anymore. Right? Feeling unprotected. That could be it too. Or no. Or this very well could be no acceptance, no awareness, no accountability. You might be dealing with an energy 
like that, right? And somebody might have traded in something greater for something less, or some somebody traded in gold for plated gold. If you see, if you know what I'm saying, right? And I had no awareness. Now they're I, that was bottom of the deck that shouldn't have come out, but it did. Yeah, yeah. Now they want to recoup, regroup, and recover, right? Ten of Swords in reverse. Maybe somebody wants forgiveness. I don't know. It could also be a card of forgiveness as well, wanting to heal. Uh, temperance in reverse. If it is addictions, maybe maybe they want to heal now. Temperance in reverse. Why is this here, please, Spirit? Temperance in the reverse. Why is this here? Temperance in reverse. Thank you. There's a uh, depression here. Five of Cups in reverse. In a dark place, you know? Really feeling bad. Very, very sad place emotionally. They're in a bad place emotionally. Maybe <clears throat> losing their, you know, losing their composure. And King of Cups, yep. I'd say they're losing their composure, bottom of the deck. This is an energy, King of Cups in reverse, that can't control their emotions at the moment. In the upright, it's this energy is a master of, you know, mastering their emotions. Um, in the reverse, it's not so. They could be drinking a lot here, okay? Because in that cup, it's in the reverse. It's not gonna. It's not holding love. It's not holding emotion. It's holding other things. It's, it, could, it doesn't have to be drinking. It could be drugs. But it's also an emotional, uh, uh, an energy that emotionally manipulates people to get what they want. Okay. Typically, they're emotionally unavailable. But this energy is self-serving and self-absorbed. And if they're doing anything good for you, it's because there's something in it for them. Okay. It's not a righteous energy at all. You know, they're not all loving, caring, giving, empathetic, and compassionate. They're self-serving. Bottom of the, That's just the way it is with this energy. Or maybe that's you or someone you're dealing with. I don't know. You know your story, so take what applies. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't, okay? If it doesn't fit, then it's just not your story right now. Can you cups in reverse? Okay, we have two. The truths come out. Clarity. Right? Um, wanting a new beginning. Uh, needing to have that conversation. This is also a, a card of a conversation. It could be a breakthrough of some sort. Somebody's crying, you know, in their beer. Tears in their beer because the truths come out. Oh, two. Back to back. Two aces. These are blessings from the divine. They might not feel like it right now. But it is. It's it's um, a blessing in disguise. This is a new beginning. This is the truth. This is victory. This is something tangible. Ace of Pentacles from the divine. This is a gift. Or somebody has a gift. The truth is somebody does have a gift. Or <clears throat> this is stability, security. This is something tangible. This is something valuable that you could to, to use to, to build off of possible generational wealth, right? Um it's it's abundance. It doesn't necessarily need mean money. Uh, obviously, yeah, we look at the pentacles as money, but it doesn't necessarily always mean that. But they're both of them indicate new beginnings, opportunities, right? This is a queen of wands in the upright at the bottom of the deck. Somebody who stands in their power is very independent, goes their own way. You can't tell them about themselves, okay? They know thyself. They are, they have power. They're pretty powerful themselves and pretty loyal. See the dog here? It's very loyal. Um, very confident, charming, alluring, um, handsome, beautiful, doesn't matter, male or female. Um, they got a lot going for them. And that's the truth. And they have opportunities and they're stable and secure. And this energy doesn't like it maybe because they they used them abused them what what not in a relationship in the past and this one's still standing strong strong as can be right they're a warrior that energy warrior b bold brave right why is the queen of wands in the upright here let's bring this together so we can bring it to a close spirit we're already at 19 minutes why is the Queen of Wands here, please? Thank you. I won't take this. I'll take the one that flipped, though. Somebody's intimidated by this energy. This energy, she or he, is very intimidating, by the way, because they know thyself. They're very confident. This is intimidation. This is fear. This is um, having a huge ego and, 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 and pride. You know, lack of control. This is harsh judgments. Somebody probably 
harsh, uh, harsh, judge this, this energy harshly, right? Or, yeah, I can't speak, sorry. <laughs> but I, I think it's intimidation. This is wish fulfillment. That, the Queen of Wands is wish fulfillment. But this, uh, this energy is also divinely protected and guided and or you're being guided, inspired. This energy is inspiring as well. They're, they're healed. They're um, maybe a healing energy as well. Very well balanced, as you can see, emotionally. That's, that's beautiful. So this, this energy is intimidating somebody. <laughs> maybe that's why they screwed up. I, I don't know. I'm not making excuses. I'm not condoning, you know, but you know, some people act weird. Okay, they get intimidated by other people and they act like, I don't know, they just act weird. It, they fear it's like an attack on their ego, right? If you drop the ego, half the problems go away, I'm sure. You know what I mean? Just drop the ego, it's easier. Why is the strength card in reverse? Thank you. They're watching. They're watching someone spying on them. Page of Swords in the upright. This is the internet card for me as well as others, but they're watching, they're spying. Could be delayed um, communication. Could be communication from a distance. But this this person looks like they're not happy. You know, I don't know that face, right? Studying somebody possibly. Mm. There's messages here. There's two birds. So it could be some two messages coming. Um, yeah, but it could be an investigation. I think it's just yeah. Somebody played games, right? Somebody didn't engage and they and they walked away. <clears throat> Maybe they want to play some more games. They're studying this person to see what else they can do. Maybe figure it out. Yeah, they're out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. This is the Five of Wands in reverse. So five, five. Be ready. For, yeah, get ready for the unexpected. Right? They have to speak the truth. The King of Swords beneath that, or it could be law, law and order. Like I said, could be an investigation. This is a police officer, investigator, lawyer, officer of the court, somehow a judge. Doesn't have to be, it could be just anybody speaking their truth. It could be Archangel Michael. Right? Yeah, okay, so some for uh, judgment in reverse. Lack of awareness, lack of acceptance, lack of accountability. Somebody's not unhealed. They're unhealed and they're not awake. Okay, so they made some poor judgments. They don't want to make good on them. So they're getting hit hard by karma. Big time. This is a bad karma card. They want a new beginning or they have to repay something. Page of Pentacles, somebody's. Gathering some information, listening to tarot reads. Could be anything, right? All eyes are on somebody here. If you can see the peacock eyes. That's the way I look at it. Somebody's a strutter. They like to strut their stuff, right? Uh, they might be coming with a small uh, offer. It doesn't look so small, though. Usually pages don't have pentacles that big, but could be wanting a new beginning, a small offer, having to pay for something. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Accumulating information. Somebody's got some information they need to share with someone. Judgment in reverse. Let's bring this to a close. 23 minutes, please, Spirit. It's a newbie. Oh, no, that's too many. Okay, come on, Spirit. Where's this going, please? It's a new beginning. Somebody's getting some poor judgment. We've got some harsh judgment here. Yeah, we're going through it mentally. Four swords in reverse. Mm, accumulating um, information about a death. About an illness, somebody being ill, maybe somebody's mentally ill. Because four of uh, the swords are mental to me, right? Could be mental illness. Maybe they're they're being watched. They're being, you know, maybe made some poor judgments here, and now they're under investigation, being assessed, possibly not happy, you know, scapegoating, ten of cups in reverse, and if a family, a group situation, or a relationship, there's no emotional fulfillment or happiness here. So four swords in reverse, please. Why is this here, please? Somebody's in control here. Nine of Pentacles in the upright. They want their freedom. They want to be single, possibly. They're single, abundant, independent, stable, and secure. Okay? Or they maybe just wanted a life of luxury. Let's see. They lied. They lied. Page of Cups in reverse. Not good news coming in here. This is a, an emotional outburst. Could have said somebody was mentally ill when they weren't. They just wanted their money. Okay? I'm getting that impression. I, it's been popping up here and there all over the place. But uh, this is... Somebody's. They wanted somebody rejected, left out in the cold. Um, this is insincere, insincerity and um, immaturity, right? They're having an emotional outburst because it's over for them now. World in the upright. So there's a, a an ending of a cycle here, a major ending. 
You're protected, by the way. Okay, you've got these laurels here. This is success, by the way. You got these batons indicating victory, and the purple indicates spirituality and royalty. So you're you are protected on all sides. All four. You again. It's the Empress. Wow, she keeps popping up lately in the last couple of days. This is all four queens in the deck. Doesn't matter if you're male or female. You're in your feminine energy, meaning you bring your creative. Okay, you have unconditional love. You're bringing new life into this world, whether it's children or through your creativity and art, artistry, if you're an artist. It doesn't matter, male or female, you're just in your feminine energy. We have both within us, okay? You're stable and you're secure. You're successful, okay? You like the finer things in life because you can afford it and you know what it takes to make that money in order to afford it, right? You're uh, very well grounded. It's beautiful. Wow, you're speaking your truth too. Okay, King of Swords in the upright. You're, you're speaking your truth. You know the facts. You have that sort of truth in your hand. Okay, and or, or it could be these two gentlemen are bringing bringing victory for the Empress, or the Empress is working with these two gentlemen. It could be angels. Okay, but justice is here. So for justice to show up, that means there was an injustice, there wasn't fairness, there was something uh, that was unbalanced. The universe is coming in to take care of this. I think it's. Could be two angels working on your behalf. It could be two people, people professionals. Okay, this per, these two are professionals. Out of the four kings, very professional. Okay, they're good at what they do. Yeah, here you are, the Queen of Cups. You are a divine feminine, loving, nurturing, caring, empathetic, compassionate, well-rounded, and very well balanced emotionally, intuitive, highly intuitive and psychic. Okay. So you are that person. So we're going to leave it there. I like to leave it on a good note if I can. So the Lady of the Mirror, Reflection and Non-Judgment. So you're not judging any of this. Um, you might be reflecting on what's gone on in the past, you know. But you're now the, in the Empress mode. You are the DF, okay, the Divine Feminine, a Chosen One. You're here to bring, you have 44, the angels are working on it, right? Uh, you're here to bring the, the vibrations of this world up, of this planet up. Uh, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So maybe that's what they were doing to you. They were watching you. They stalked you. They gaslighted you. Perception is skewed, obviously. But the angels have come in, okay? And I, like I said, I don't know why it made me say the angels are here, but 44 is an angelic number. They're working on your behalf, okay? Male or female. But if it is a DF, as it it looks like the Empress is out with the Queen of Cups. That's a DF, okay? Divine Feminine. Um, and the angels, Archangel Michael is in charge of the Divines, okay? That's, that's his charge. He watches over the Divines just like he has uh, jurisdiction over demons and angels, right? He is the lieutenant. He's the big guy. So he's bringing back, he's bringing back some stability for you. Or maybe he's bringing in your DM, uh, DM, your divine masculine. That could very well be the divine masculine. Not yet in emperor mode, but just about there. Okay. He's very, he or she, well, I think it's a he. It's quite obvious. Uh, is very stable, secure, successful. Okay. Now, so how are we going to end this read? Please, spirit guides, guardian angels. Oop, okay. Message in a bottle in reverse, card number 15 in reverse, death in reverse is a permanent ending. It is a profound ending, the, the kind that's going to change your life forever, okay? Good or bad, doesn't matter. Uh, there's a phone in a bottle here, so message in a bottle, there's a phone in the bottle. Maybe you're no longer going to hear from whatever, or maybe you're not hearing anything yet because it's in the reverse. <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see what the message is. It says it's in the reverse. I'm only going to read the protection message for you. I apologize about the coughing. Like I said, I have a cold. Uh, I just came out of nowhere yesterday. Friday the 13th. <laughs> um, are you refusing to acknowledge the signs because you want things as you want them? Red flags are not pretty decorations for you to admire. They're, warnings, they're warning you for a reason. If something doesn't sit right with you, trouble could be hiding in the bushes. Don't ignore the signs. Spirit always has your best interests at heart and will draw your attention to what you're overlooking. So I don't know if that's a message for the DF or for if this is a DM, Divine Masculine, potential Divine Masculine. I don't know. But uh, this card, which is Archangel Michael, if it is Michael on top of 
this energy is totally protected. You see there's an umbrella over here. <coughs> or a dome. You're totally protected. You get messages from source here. This is a falcon. Higher perception. You've got nine pentacles out of ten. You don't really need anything other than, unless you wanted that other pentacle, right? You're good. You're good. So Michael's got you covered, okay? That's the way I look at it. He's protecting you, okay? On many different levels, I, I would imagine. So take it as it applies. I'm not sure how the last message, message in the bottom reverse, plays into your world. Maybe you are overlooking something and you have to have, with perception, with maybe a different set of eyes, you're going to have to proceed, you know, figure it out. Maybe it's a warning to you right now. I hope you liked the read. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell if I haven't mentioned that. And until next time, take care.